guys, my name is Abigail. I'm a third year student at RIT studying dietetics and nutrition. Welcome to my video. Today I'm creating a video tour of our College of Health Sciences and Technology for you. So I'm going to take you through some of our academic buildings and show you some of the lab spaces that our health science programs use. Let's head back outside and we can go into our first building. The first building that we're going to enter is our Center for Bioscience, Education and Technology. So when you enter on your left, you're going to see our student services section. This is where the academic advisors and some other faculty members for the Health Science College is found. Also on the first floor, we have a little bit of a study area, so you can see some tables and some chairs. In the middle of the day, this becomes a little bit busier when students are taking a break between class. Also on the left side is one of our classroom spaces. This building has mainly faculty offices and lab spaces, but this is one of the classroom spaces. It's a fairly large classroom, not a big lecture hall, but there is a good amount of seats in there. And then as we go up the stairs, our second floor has some more lab spaces, as well as some more classroom spaces. So here's another classroom right here. It's about the same size as the last one. You can see a lot of the health science programs aren't super big programs, so we have fairly smaller classrooms. One of the most unique lab spaces in this college is our cadaver lab. This is used for our physician assistant programs, biomedical science, and our medical illustration programs. Getting to use the cadaver lab as an undergraduate student is really unique to RIT because typically students don't have that opportunity until they're in medical school. All right, moving up to the third floor, you'll see there's some more office spaces up here, as well as a lot of student research is portrayed on the walls of this hallway. On the right here is a research lab space, as well as when you continue down, again, there's some more professor offices, and we have our anatomy lab coming up over here as well. This is a lab space that pretty much every health sciences student will be in at least for one or two semesters. So this is our human anatomy lab. There's a bunch of lab benches. Typically there's about four students per lab bench. Um, so about 24 students in each lab section. And you get to learn a little bit more in depth about what you are talking about in lecture, as well as you get to do some fun hands-on activities, even get to dissect a little bit. We actually had the opportunity to draw our own blood and test our own blood type, which was pretty cool as well. So that lab space is a really cool lab space for the health science students. All right, we're gonna head back outside. This is the other building that has our College of Health Sciences and Technology. So this is our Clinical Health Sciences Center. So as we enter, you're gonna see in front of us is our sign for our Wegman School of Health and Nutrition. So most of our health sciences program are part of our Wegman School of Health and Nutrition. This building also connects to some other academic buildings, including Louise the Water Hall that you can see right there. This is a really beautiful building. Um, it's a very new building as well. We have a lot of different study spaces over here. So you can see one little couch area to study. Our physician's assistant program is also found in here. So different advisors and professors for that program are gonna be in this office space. And then this hallway actually looks over to the second floor, or the, I guess the bottom floor, the basement floor, uh, where there's some more study spaces. So on the right right here, you can see another classroom space. So various health science classes might have class in here. And then as you keep going, on our left, we have our physician's assistant lab. So this is a really unique lab space for our PA program. This is set up where the middle section is a classroom and the outside section has a ton of different resources that they can use. So these mock examination stations are positioned around the perimeter of the room and the physician assistant students are able to practice their clinical skill training. We have some emergency room style setups as well as some hospital rooms as well. A ton of resources again for these students to use. We also have a state-of-the-art simulation laboratory connected to our physician assistant lab. Um, this is where students can basically practice on a patient that um, simulates a wide variety of diseases. 
Another program in this college is our Diagnostic Medical Sonography program. They have a lab space as well. It has a similar setup to the PA lab, so they have a classroom set classroom section, excuse me, in the middle, as well as a bunch of mock imaging stations around the perimeter. So this lab provides opportunities for lecture as well as sonography skill training for the students in the ultrasound major. All right, so we're gonna move down to the bottom floor. Those were all the facilities on our top floor. Our bottom floor is actually home to a Rochester Regional Hospital station. Um, so sometimes if a student needs um, to go to a doctor or something like that, they can actually go right into this building to meet with a nurse. This bottom floor again has a lot of study spaces, definitely one of my favorite places to go and study. It's usually pretty quiet down here, but there's a bunch of um, tables and chairs, uh, a ton of outlets as well, which is really helpful that you can see down this hallway and couches as well. The bottom floor is where our nutrition program is. That's my program, so I spend a lot of time down here. There's some copy rooms and printers down in this hallway as well. So this building or this office space is where a lot of my professors are found. Um, you can see again some more of those tables. And then this is another classroom. So this is typically where the nutrition classes are found. The last quick lab space that I'm going to point out is actually not in either of these buildings. This is found in our Eastman building, but this kitchen space is used for a lot of nutrition classes as well. So nutrition students who are learning about like food science and recipe development can have classes in that kitchen. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for exploring the College of Health Sciences with me. Bye!